Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS in all new Sword Art Online. And this game was dropped out recently and a lot of you guys have been facing issues with FPS drops, lags, stuttering. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it all. Doesn't matter on Windows 10 or 11. So make sure to stick around to the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will help you to gain extra FPS by turning things off in the background. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and head over to change default graphic settings. In here, you'll find hardware extra to GPU scheduling as optimizations for windowed games. As as it will help you to gain extra FPS by using your GPU and reducing your input latency. Once done, head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you find your game, double click on that and then go over to the SAOFD folder and then go to binaries, win64 and you'll find in SAOFD.exe. Click on add, go over to options, select high performance and then click on save. Once you're done with that, close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that, head over to the download location of your game. Over here, look for the game and then select it. Head over to SAOFT, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the game. Right click on that, head over to Properties and then go to Compatibility. Click on Disable Full Screen Optimization and then click on Change High DPI Settings. Click on Override High DPI Scaling Behavior and then click on OK. Click on Apply and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, search for Create a Restore Point on your PC and then look for your local disk C. Click on Create and name it something that you can remember it. And I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once you're done with that, click on Close and Close System Properties. Next step is Sword Art Online FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there or join my Discord server. Open this FPS pack up and you'll find in 5 simple folders. First one is CPU Priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU Priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU Priority or if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU Priority. Head over to the second folder which is the SAO Fracture Daydream Priority and over here you'll find an Above Normal and High Priority. Once again, I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here and I've also left the Normal Priority if you want to revert them back to normal. Third is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I use 32GB RAM so I need to run this one and if you guys don't like it you can always reset it back to default from here. Next is the programs folder in which I have left three simple programs. First one is the cache cleaner. Right click on that and run this as administrator. This will start deleting all temporary files on your PC and these files are created by programs which are not currently in use and these are completely useless. You can delete them safely. Minimize it and let it run in the background. Next step is the memory.exe. Right click and run this as administrator. Administrator. Here is how memory dot actually works. As you guys can see that 11.8 GB is actually in use in my PC. So click on clean memory and then click on yes. And as you guys can see, it will start reducing the memory currently in use. This will help you to free up your RAM and allow your games to use it properly. This will also help you to increase your FPS and I highly recommend you guys to run it every time you open up any game. Close it and let's move to the last one that is the MSI Utility 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, you'll find all of your devices on your PC that are currently connected. One of them will be your graphic card. Click on the MSI button in front of it and for the enter priority, go with high and then click on apply and close it. This will help you to set the SFIO priority of your graphic card and allow it to perform better by drawing more power. Once that is done, you can go to the last folder that is unwanted services and you'll find a lot of service that are currently enabled on your PC. You have to disable every single one of them and if you use any Bluetooth devices, leave the first one. But other than that, I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them as it will help you to reduce the number of services running in the background, allowing your PC to perform better. If you want to revert any of them back, you can go to the revert folder and then enable any of them back to normal as you guys want. But instead of that, close your FPS pack and now, next step is dropping into the game and following the best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to options then head over to graphics and then for the screen mode set it to full screen screen resolution should be set to your native resolution resolution scaling should be set to 100 but if you have a super low end pc you guys can reduce it up to 85 and this will pixelize your game a little bit but you'll get the best fps possible Resync should be turned off, frame rate limit should be set to unlimited, anti-aliasing should be turned off, shadow quality low, texture filtering you guys can go with medium or low, 
ambient occlusion, of screen space reflection, of motion blur, of depth of field, of texture quality, go with medium or high, animation level of display, ambient LOD, set this thing to low, displayed effects, low and grass density, low. Once you with that, press your escape key and then save these settings. Head back and now you can enjoy the best FPS possible in the game. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are a new channel and we are still growing. So your support is really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, keep watching Tweakers and peace out.